compute the indefinite integral of 2x plus 1 times e to the 3x dx. Now you might notice that we've done this once before using integration by parts. This time, let's just use the tabular method of IVP instead. So uh, notice that we have the algebraic term here and a trigonometric term here, or sorry, exponential term here. So we'll let u be the algebraic term and dv be the exponential term. So we'll build the table. Now we'll differentiate the u column to get 2 and integrate the dv column to get 1 third e to the 3x. Now we'll differentiate again. The u column will become 0. We'll integrate again to get 1 ninth e to the, uh, e to the 3x. And since we've got a 0 in this column, we're going to stop the table. And we'll start filling in our, di our arrows. A diagonal entry here, a diagonal entry here, and a horizontal along the bottom. And we'll put in our signs plus, minus, plus, and an integral on the last one. And now we just read off what the table says. We're going to have positive 2x plus 1 times 1 third e to the 3x. The next row will read negative 2 times 1 ninth e to the 3x. And the last row reads plus the integral of 0 times stuff. Now if we clean this up, we're going to have 1 third times 2x plus 1 times e to the 3x. The next term is negative 2 ninths times e to the 3x plus the integral of 0 is just a constant. Now, just like last time, you might remember that we could pull a 1 ninth e to the 3x out. That's going to leave us with uh, a 3 times 2x plus 1. And over here, it's just going to leave with the 2. And then once again, we can distribute that through to get 1 ninth e to the 3x times 6x plus 3 minus 2. All right, here we go. There's the 6x plus 3. And we'll take away 2 to get 6x plus 1. And here's our final answer. And you should compare this with the one that we did before. 